Well, we're hearing that the government had been having trouble getting in touch with its representative, the Secretary of the Interior, who had been in Takloban. That is the worst hit area in the region there. And just now they have confirmed that they were able to speak to their Secretary of the Interior. And they are reporting extensive damage. But because of this breakdown in communications where people just haven't been able to get any information from these areas, the death toll officially still stands at four. But as I say, that may be largely because people just cannot make contact with people in the region. I know there are families here in Manila who have been desperately trying to talk to their loved ones out there and just have had no success, and that is the major fear. We're coming up on 24 hours that some of these families haven't heard anything, and we know just how strong this super typhoon was. And when we see those pictures, the flooding in the streets, the debris flying through the air. Obviously, families around the countries are very fearful for what might have happened to their loved ones. Also in that region, Aaron, is uh, the island of Bohol, which just last month was hit by a 7.1 magnitude quake. That killed more than 200 people and left more than 5,000 people homeless. That's a situation that authorities and aid agencies are having to deal with, moving people who were already evacuated into tents back out of those tents and into evacuation centers, just hoping that those schools and structures are still safe after that earthquake. And, and Kathy, I'm curious, you know, when, when we, you talk about this in these areas where they haven't heard anything from people, I mean, how populated were they? I mean, you know, you're talking about four formally dead, but I mean, people are wondering that the scale of this could become uh, catastrophic in terms of people who may have lost their lives. Is that a fear people have in the Philippines? Absolutely, Aaron. The Philippines is a hugely populated country, and this storm has hit about two-thirds of the country. Many of the people have built their homes along the coast in these island areas that got just smacked by this super typhoon. And the homes themselves, Aaron, are not homes that you may picture in the United States. They're quite flimsy structures made out of plywood, made out of sheet metal, and these are the kinds of structures that are being hit by a storm that has the power to knock over even the strongest of buildings and rip roofs off evacuation centers we're hearing so yes people are absolutely fearing the worst for what might have happened to these people but just because of these communication breakdowns we can't confirm for sure what has happened yet